Yo, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an absolute masterclass. This was honestly one of my best gameplays I've had all year long in a Crimson Lobby playing control. And I'm not going to lie, I was frying. So I thought, why not break it down, give you my real thoughts, like, kind of when I was playing, what I was thinking, and all that good stuff. So sit back, relax, let's break it down. Again, the way I'm going to be doing it, if you guys enjoy, let me know in the comments. It's going to be having like tack maps on one side, having the gameplay on the other. So when I'm breaking things down, I'll show you the map and kind of how I'm thinking through situations. Let's get right into it. So off the break, I'm going through and standard kind of uh, break here. There's obviously three lanes. We're on defense. So on defense, what I want to do is I basically want to get map control. Okay, well, let me go to the left. Let me make this a bit bigger. So I, I kind of want to get map control. So I want to make sure that I'm on the offense side. So on the defense side, if we can somehow get this much map control, if we can push through and we have like our line of defense is up here, that's very good because we have both points covered and we have them trapped in their spawn if we can be even further up right if we can have something like this this is like perfect this means we've got them in the absolute blender so the more further pushed up we are the better it is in terms of map control right because we want to keep them trapped here if possible that's kind of the end goal so with that in mind right now it's all about the lanes and high rise is a map where there are many lanes many you can see like everything from certain areas so it's very different it's a very unique map and some people like it some people don't i personally am a fan so we go through as I'm going to the right now, you can see, okay? So this is where decisions are starting to be made. As I'm going through the right, right now, do I go right or do I go middle? So if we go through, you can see I'm over there. My teammate's with me. I'm gonna be number one just to make it easier, okay? So I'm number one. My teammate's with me. So far, they haven't sent anybody through this window. So that tells me they're probably, they could send someone underground, but they probably have, you know, three people going through there, maybe one through middle. So that's kind of what it looks like to me. My teammate is in middle here. So we don't have this map control. He's back there. So right now, if I just looked at this as a whole, I would say, right, we kind of have map control on the right. But instead of me pushing forward, what we're going to do is we're going to take this right hand side. But if they push to A, then it doesn't make any sense. I don't need this side. So I'm instead going to cut through middle to try and just have a more balanced line. Instead of having map control like this. I, sorry, instead of having map control like this. Right? Because this way, what it would look like. If my arrow was here, that's what our map control would look like. I don't love that. It doesn't look great. They've got a lot of gaps through middle. So instead, I'm going to make the play go through middle so that our line instead looks like this. Hope that, hope that makes sense. I want to have more of a balanced map control. Going through. Can't see anyone. And right now, again, I'm just trying to check the angles. So we jump across. We spot one. You get no aim assist through here. I'm just trying to get some shots off. We make him one shot. Okay, now he's one shot. We're going to go through. My teammate's now on the left. So again, our line has changed. This teammate has pushed up. This is very important. You want this teammate to push up as well. Now we're in a good spot. Like in terms of map control, we have 50-50. These gunfights are going to give us map control here. So this guy's one shot on my left. So I'm going to slide across. We spot him and we, we should have taken him out there. I think I played that a little bit weird. I knew he was there. I knew he was on the prone as well. I should have jumped around the corner. So right now we see, we see him go prone there. We see him hiding. He's one shot. So what I should have done is jump around the corner here and just gone for the like centering down below because i knew he was gonna be prone there so that's on me so we go through we get taken out and now my teammate gets one it's a 3-3 trade let's keep going through so i knew he was weak there i should have jumped across it's all good let's see what we do off the break we spawn on the right again my teammates are on the left now now i'm just trying to cover middle but i don't know where they are so i'm gonna stand here and instead of me being there now i'm gonna sit here because i spawned and just try to get those kills i'm trying to pick people up I'm trying to see, right, where are they? Where can I get an easy kill from? Just so I can know where they are. My teammate takes out one, you know, underground's open. Again, I'm just trying to find a wave of kills, but this is where you look at the kill feed. Two people go down. Okay, you know what? That's good. That means we have two, we have four people up. All right, let me be number one to make it easier. So we have four people up. So I'm standing there. We have a teammate on the B point. We have another teammate around there and two of them just died. So what does that mean? It means two of them are going to spawn back here. And this is what you need to be thinking in the game. As soon as this happens, chat, you guys are watching as well. I want you guys to be honest with yourself. Do you watch the kill feed in this scenario? Are you looking at the kill feed and thinking, right, two people down, what does that mean? It, mean, it should say to you, okay, two people are spawning up and I can see somebody there. He's on my level. He looks like he's their back glass, roughly. I don't know exactly, but he looks like he's roughly there. So what does that say? It says, I know where three people are. So we're looking for one person. So in my head right now, we're looking for one person only. We know where the rest are. So we're pushing through. I'm trying to get some map control. And there's one off the spawn. Really good shots there. We kill him. And now I'm like, okay, we've got another two kills. I think they're all dead now. They're all going to be at the back. So just like I said at the start, what do you want to do in this scenario? Well, I don't want to back away because if imagine we all did that. Imagine we all back away, right? What are we going to do? We're going to let them get out their base. So with four of them being dead, 
we should keep them trapped here. We should say, right, they are not in a good spot. Let's keep them trapped here. So they're going to be stuck there. We are now going to push through. We are now going to push through and see what we can do. So I chuck a grenade over. Again, what's open in this setup? It's not about what I want to do. It's about what's open. So I'm playing solo queue. I can't tell my teammates to pick up the left, pick up the right. I'm just going to look at the medium and see what they're doing. So one's over there. One is on these stairs, which I think is a great play. So I technically have two people on the right, okay? They're kind of watching the right side here. One is on the far left, up there. So now this is up to me to look at the mini map and say, right, where am I best to be right now? Is it best if I'm here? Honestly, probably not, because it's not as balanced, right? If I could put me anywhere on the map, where would I want to be? I'd probably want to be somewhere around there just to make it look better and hold that line. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to a spot and kind of watch the middle. And there you go. We back away, we're watching the middle. I'm watching over my teammate. He takes that one, we get we get the help, we get the second. Immediately I see someone behind us. The reason why this player did a good job is because however he snuck through, he is now behind us, right? What he's trying to do is he's trying to distract us. So us turning around, his ultimate goal, if that's how he's playing, is to distract us. So we're all looking for him. He plays his life behind here. His teammates then push out. We don't want that to happen. So we're trying to kill him as quick as possible. So my goal is kill him as quick as possible and turn around before they escape. His goal is to play his life and distract us. Let's see who wins the battle in terms of the goal. I go through, I turn around, he's on the point, And that's not what you want to do. In that scenario, he played it terribly. If you're here, right, what is the point of getting on A? You getting on A there is going to buy you maybe three seconds. You're not going to secure the point unless we really troll. So in this scenario, if I'm him and I get that kill, there is no reason I should get on the point there. I should play my life. So again, seeing what he did wrong there will help me improve in my game. So when I'm in this scenario next, if I'm him, I realize him sitting on the point right there. He gets that first kill. He immediately should be playing his life around there. He knows we're not spawned up, right? Because we haven't got a kill in a minute. He knows that we're going to be looking for him. He should be playing his life, hiding around, trying to distract us. But what does he do? He overcommits. My teammate takes him out. The second my teammate takes him out, we, we go through, we turn around, and we're watching the front again. Again, he should have distracted for longer. He didn't distract enough, and now we go through. I'm watching this cross from a different angle. My teammate's not on the right anymore, so I'm going to hold it from this angle. I'm still pushed up. I'm still holding the cross. We take out one. We know one's going on the far right there, so it's going to hold it. Now, my teammates, where are they? Well, my teammate's far right. My teammate's watching the far right. I know for a fact that guy I just killed is spawning there. The other guy is spawning there, so two of them are probably coming through the left window. Okay? My other teammate's gone through middle. One of my teammates is there. So now what do I do? What do I do differently? Well, before I was watching the right, I'm not going to say, oh, well, I was watching the right. I need to carry on. No, I'm going to say, you know what? What's missing right now? We don't have any urgency on the left street. I have one teammate holding this middle. I have one teammate kind of holding the far right. I want to get urgency because I think they're coming through the left. So I need to watch this area here. So what do I do? I got the ladder, hold the far left. Expecting them to push it. I'm holding the angle. And what do I get? Perfect timing. He pushes through. Good stuff. It's about reading the minimap, reading the pressure. I'm on a four kill streak here. I don't need to get aggressive. The last guy's on B. We're going to take our time. We spot him. He shoots me. I'm just going to back off. I don't need to kill him. My teammate gets him. Let's go through. Let's get the easy kills on the spawn. He gets a two piece. So now I'm like, right, I need to play my life here. We, we need to be up here. Just like my team, my enemy should have done so far. Um, just like when my enemy was in that position there, he should have played his life. I'm in the same scenario now. Two of my teammates have just died. So my teammates are going to spawn back there. I'm over there. What do we want to do now? We want to play our life. Whether they get on the point or not is irrelevant. Me playing my life, holding this map control is very important. Hopefully getting one or two easy kills here. And remember, I'm on a streak. So I get weak, I back away. Okay, 10 seconds left. My teammates have the right side. The only thing they can do, the only thing I can do now is watch the left street. I'm weak here though. So what do I do? Well, there's three people... So there's two people accounted for. So we know one is over there. He's going to potentially push me because I'm weak. We know one is over there. He's fine, my teammate. So I'm going to assume the last three are going to push me just because of the map. I know they spawn here with how long? With 10 seconds left, maybe one goes through middle, but I'm just going to assume they're going to push me. Okay, cool. Let's see what I do here. So I jump across for information. He stuns me. First thought, there's 10 seconds left. He's going to challenge me. If he doesn't, let's say he doesn't challenge me now. That's okay, because within 10 seconds, if he doesn't get to the point, we win the game. So I'm just going to hold this. As I'm holding it, I'm trying to use movement. I'm actually marking it, because I'm like, although I'm holding it, I'm kind of weak here. If he breaks this, if he gets a kill, he's going to get to the point. So hopefully my teammates can help me out. We go through. I'm just going to hold this. Holding it. As I'm holding it, it's very important. Something I've recently done a bit more. It's kind of what Selium does when he plays. He does a lot of, like, 
prone a lot of like drop shots while moving and jumping like just making himself a harder target and this is what i'm doing now you see i'm going prone i'm going forward as i go prone i'm running forward and that way i'm able to use movement to my advantage okay what he did wrong here is he ran at me in this scenario if you're the enemy you don't want to run at me because when you're running like this look at this okay he has his gun up in the air i catch him in attack sprint right now look at that i catch him in attack sprint if I was that guy's coach, if I was talking to him how to break the hill, I would tell him, right, the player on the hill is probably pre-aiming you. You have to be ready for the gunfight. You have to jump around the corner, try to camera him, try something. But him having his gun up, it makes it easy for me to kill him. He jumps at me now, but it's too late. He's already one shot. I've already got the advantage. So all I have to do is hit one shot on him. So even if he hits me a few times and he's able to get some good shots off, because I've made him weak now, him jumping at me is irrelevant. So I get that kill. I'm one off the streak with three seconds left. There is no reason for me to run. They have to push me. So I'm just going to hold it. Hold the angle. He pushes me. We get the second. The third guy's chucking a grenade. We go round. We challenge him. We camera him. We get the three piece. Really, really effective stuff there. So again, it's just about playing it smart. I knew there was five seconds left there. He has to push me. So there's one. We slide counter. We take out the second. We camera the third by jumping around the corner. He slides into me. We get the third. Great three piece. We get the cruise. That is a perfect, perfect round one. If you guys uh, have any questions, again, in the YouTube chat, let me know. Um, any questions so far? Are you guys happy with that? As we go through to round two. This is live on stream, by the way. That's the reason I'm asking. So um, anyone... Oh, it's, it looks a little bit weird because of both chats. I'm sorry about that. I don't think I can do anything about that. Um, the only thing I can do is move... Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it after. I'll see how it looks. I guess what I can do is... That. No, no, one second. I think I need to get rid of that. Yeah. I think I'm going to get rid of that and leave the old chat on from the VOD because it looks a bit weird with double chat. So for now, we'll leave the multi-chat off of the current live stream. But I can still see your chat if you need it. Anyways, going through, we're onto the offense now. We spot one through middle. I'm going to jump down and take him out. As soon as I get shot through this guy, I'm going to run away. But that wasn't the best play for me because I jumped down in the open. So let's rewind and see what happened there. So I spot this guy. And in this scenario, like I don't need to jump at him. Like I'm in a good spot. Me jumping down. The other guy's right in front of me. He's always going to get that kill. So that was just a little bit over aggressive for no reason. You see, it's an easy kill for him. Although I get the opening blood there, we want to keep the numbers. So it was okay. It wasn't a like it wasn't a negative play because we traded, but it wasn't a positive play either. So it was just a neutral play. There was instead of four v four, it's a three v three, and I'm basically putting the trust in my teammates instead of myself because I'm dead there. Go through, and right now I'm just trying to cut the angles. I love this play in terms of um, gun skill, in terms of like what I did to win the gunfight. I don't see anyone through middle. I'm the furthest pushed out. I think he's going to be my right. Instead of just walking out in the open, I'm going to go prone because if he pushes me, this is going to be a harder gunfight for him. No one really centers down. So as he comes around the corner, we drop shot him. As soon as I get that kill, I'm out. I jump away because I want to get out without getting traded. Now, this is a positive gunfight because now it's 4v2. So where are my team? This time we're on the red side. We're on the other side. Where am I? I'm going up the ladder. My teammate's on the left street. My teammate's on the left street. I have another teammate behind me. He's around there. I have another teammate who's coming through to spawn, okay? They have two people down, so we just killed two people. So that means two of them are going to spawn back there. So we now know they have two players. Just like before, they have two players. I'm going to assume one might be there and one might be there. I don't know where they are. I'm just going to assume and guess. So we're going to go through now. Okay, I have my teammates pushing through middle. My teammate's able to push through middle. That tells me he's not in a gunfight. That means no one's watching their middle. So they're either going to be heli or they're going to be on the street. That's kind of how I'm thinking. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to go across. I'm going to jump across, jumping up, getting some information. I'm going to sit in the hill now. In this scenario, again, as I'm pushing this, I'm trying to think, where could they be? I haven't seen any information. We're looking for two here. We go through. I back away as I'm reloading. I spot one right there on my mini map. He's clearly shooting my teammate. So I go across and take him out. That player should have played it better. Again, played his life. That player was right there. He needs to play his life because now he's dead. Now I kill him. Guess what? That's three down. His two teammates are pushed up. I now know that at least three of them are in their base. There's only one player out in the open that we're looking for. I'm going to watch over. I'm actually going to push them. Again, because of the timing, I know that this guy's probably coming out now. We haven't got a kill in a second. Although I could stay in the hill, I'd rather get another wave of kills here just to guarantee that second wave, right? So we just go through. We take out the first kill. Let's watch it again. We take out one. We slide cancel. We cross there onto the second. Take him out. Now I'm going to back away. I should probably get in the hill there, but I'm going to push through, go for the third. We go through. We get the third really good stuff there that's basically four down because i got three my teammate gets one so now where are they well 
they got four pieced. They're all going to be at the back. They're going to be running. They're going to be running to save the hill. So what I'm going to do is hopefully my teammates can get on the hill. In an ideal situation, we have two people on the hill here. I probably could have stayed on the hill, but I didn't really want to right now. We could we have one around A capturing it, and I'm happy to be in their base, keeping them trapped in. That's kind of what I want. So we're going through. I end up over committing here slightly. You see, I should have played it a bit better there. That guy got out. So what I tried to do is I tried to sneak on through here. As this was happening, he ended up pushing out here. So I caught bad timing. I'm pre-aiming this area here. He ends up being behind me, takes me out. I now spawn back there. So me playing my life there would have just been a little bit more, more valuable. It was kind of one of those where my timing was maybe two seconds off. And that happens, it's fine. Now we're going to go through, see what we can do here. We spot two through middle, we shoot one, we make him weak. I'm always going to center onto this um, this ladder because it's my only line of sight. No one's there, so I'm going to jump to the left, slide cancel. Again, drop shot, take him out. Always using that movement to my advantage. My teammate takes out one. We know he's in the left corner. Okay, he's just jumped off. You know what? My teammate gets him. Let's sit on the hill now. That's three down. Look at the kill feed. That's three down. Let's sit on the hill. Soak the hill now. We know they're going to spawn up, so I'm actually going to jump up top, most likely. Okay, I don't. Normally, I would jump up top there and kind of watch over. And now, playing for a different angle. Seeing if I get another kill, pinch them again. And at this point, I'm feeling very confident. There's a player on my left. Let's go through. I took a bit too long there. I should have either been quicker, been a bit more decisive, or just done something there because he was shooting. I kind of gave him time to react, and that was kind of uh, where it went wrong there. But it's all good. Again, we're going towards A now. This is once again, look what I'm doing differently to my opponent. My opponent ran at me here. I don't want to be caught with my gun up. I'm going to be holding my aim. I'm going to be sprinting. I'm going to be seeing. Okay, he's on my left corner. Let's slide across. We shoot him. I get a little bit like off in terms of the angles there. Didn't quite work out, but I'm okay with that. You know, overall, we're doing really well. I think this round's been okay. For an offense, it's been pretty good. We've already got three ticks. We have the advantage. Now, we're in the spawn trap right now. When you're in a spawn trap, you do not want to just run out because, I mean, it's never going to help you. So we're in a scenario where we're all at the back now. If you look at my mini map, we're all kind of close here, right? We don't have much map control. I know they're going to be set up, man. They're going to be somewhere. They're going to be set up. They're going to try their best to keep us trapped in. So all I'm going to do now is, honestly, just try getting a kill. If I can get one or two kills there, just keep them kind of reserved i'll be good to go so look we go through we spot one get the line of sight we pre-aim in we take him out perfect that's two down we know where the last two are because they're further back on the map look here they're further back they have pushed back there our line our goal now is to get map control we need to push up as a team now so what do we do we push up wait for my teammate let my teammate go through i'm trying to find a line of sight don't find him there you go he's out in the open we make him one shot and that allows me again to push up I go through. I'm just trying to get an opening blood. My teammates push through, and this is perfect now. We were trapped in the back. We now have a minute to work with. Let's see what we can do. Again, going through with my teammate, trying to get the second. Can't find anyone. I'm just trying to get the line of sight here. I'm really trying to just do something. It's 12v10, 40 seconds left. We spot one again, chucking a grenade. At this point, I'm literally just trying to get some kills. I can't really find anyone. I'm getting pretty poor timing. This guy's one shot. We leave him for my teammate. He's literally one shot there. I'm hoping he gets him. My teammate somehow loses that. A little bit unfortunate. And now 10v6. This is our round to lose here. We go through, put a trophy down. The trophy placement could have been better. You see, I, end up, I think I died by a grenade here because the trophy wasn't the best. You see, I'm one shot and I end up kind of getting killed by a grenade there. That was on my trophy placement. So I should have put a trophy in a better spot there. And again, 7v5. Considering we have four ticks though, this is still a good round. Even if we lose, it's still a good round. But I'm going to take a route. I know that everyone is focusing on A. All the attention is at A. In this scenario, most of the time people are panicking. They're really just kind of watching the point. They're not really worried about anything else. So me going, you know, even my teammates are doing the same thing to us. Everyone's kind of one dimensionally running at A. So I'm thinking, right, if I can take a route here, if I can create some space, go through, make a play, get, especially on this map where you get high ground, if I can find them like lacking like this, for example, let's say they're set up like this and they're all focused on my team, right? If I can kind of catch them lacking, get one kill even one he spawns out or he's out of the game because it's four this guy looks at me we're in a better spot now because now we're 3v2 so all i'm trying to do now is buy time get some kills and what happens my teammates will die we spot one we have to get this kill we catch him sprinting again he wasn't expecting this we catch him sprinting there's one we jump up top i can't die now by the way i'm the furthest pushed out although there's only 20 seconds left i'm not gonna panic because if i die now the game's over in my opinion so i take my time i'm playing it very very slow i'm trying to find a freebie there's a second i spot him you know what let's get some high ground 
Let's go through a different angle. Can I see anyone? No. Okay, it's all good. My teammate's pushing up. Let's go through the left there. Let's create some space, create an angle. And right now, what do we have? We have numbers. 4v3. We still have 10 seconds. Not too much time, but just enough to make a play. And there you go. First mistake. He goes out in the open. Now we pounce. We get one. We get the second. Excellent play. We only have three seconds. If my teammate dies now, where we lose the game. So I'm my goal now is to get on the point in three seconds because if he kills one of us, the other one will get the trade. So all I'm trying to do is run on the point. You see, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. He's on the right. We go through, we get the trade, we get the three piece. Just like that, we win the round. I think that was a perfect question there. I think that was a perfect question, a uh, perfect scenario because we took our time, we took a route, I was last one up and I still was able to go through and get a three piece. And I'm very happy the way I played that. I think I played that almost perfectly towards the end there. Let's go through and see what we do on the defense. In this scenario, I'm very confident. We have the cruise, we're two nil up. I'm two of another cruise and I'm just flowing right now. I'm playing almost perfect Call of Duty besides very few small minuscule mistakes, but I'm trying to play off their mistakes there. We spot one on the right. Again, jumping off, backing away, just playing smart. I'm making sure constantly our team is in 4v3 positions. My team is there, we help him out again. Right there, I should have watched that. Let me let me go back there. So right now you can see I'm watching the left, right? I'm expecting them to push the left and I give it up here. As soon as they get on B, my problem here was I got distracted by B. I should have held the left for a second longer. If I just held that left there, I probably would have got that kill. So me doing that, turning around, I gave up the left street. He came at the perfect time and got the kill. So good play from him, but could play that a little bit better. Now I have the cruise, but when do we use a cruise? I'm in a scenario where I don't want to use a cruise just yet. I don't want to use a cruise just yet. I'm like, right, in this scenario, I'm still doing good. We still got waves to push through. So I'm just trying to find a blood. We don't find anyone. Let's go through. Just trying to find a kill right now. We go through. Then, okay, this is a uh, perfect example of what to do in this scenario. Let me, let me rewind. Especially, again, this is how you find jump spots and stuff. The more you play, the more you practice, the more you kind of find spots that work. If he's not on this side of the hill, okay, let me show you. So right now, somebody's on the B point, okay? I don't know where he is, so I'm going to jump up to this ledge. As soon as I don't see him here, it's pretty evident he's on the other side of this AC, okay? He's on the other side of this unit. So instead of pushing the hill, I'm going to jump to this ledge here. As I'm jumping, my cross is based towards him. I'm shooting him and I'm jumping away. Normally, I wouldn't jump away or jump towards him there, but I just kind of jumped away, went through, took out one, jumped away again, and now we get three down. We know the fourth guy's there. So let's go back to the minimap. We get three down. I'm underground. My teammate is chasing him. By the way, that guy's weak. By the way, that guy's very weak. The guy we just shot. Cool. He's the last one up. Okay, he's right there. The last three people are going to spawn up. They will be spawning here. Okay. So I'm thinking, right, we just need map control. And we win the game right now. We literally need to get this kill. I'm just hoping my teammate gets that kill. If he gets that kill, that is a fresh four down. If I can push through and set up, we will literally have the whole map and we'll keep them trapped in. So my teammate pushes through. I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. And he gets a kill. I can see he gets the kill. So now... That guy spawns out. I'm pushed up. We're in a spot where, okay, what's open? Well, my teammate's on the left. My other teammate's on the right. My one teammate does die. I don't know why I do. I don't remember, but I'm hoping I watch this right glass because that's kind of empty right now. I'm hoping I watch the right glass or the middle. Let's see what I do here. Just like that, I'm watching the right glass. My team is watching middle. I'm also going to help him through. We'll kind of watch middle. And right now, there you go. I'm watching the right. Now, it was kind of obvious they're pushing the left there. So looking back, what I would have preferred me doing is what I did the first round. Right now, what I would have done right now, okay? Go up these stairs. What I would have preferred me doing is going up these stairs and playing on that box there, watching middle or even going there and watching left because it's more likely they're going through left. Me watching the right there was kind of irrelevant because they weren't going to push the right. It was very unlikely. I didn't think that at the time, but it was just one of those where I kind of just in flow state, I just pushed forward. So definitely should have watched the left there instead of holding it from a weird angle. Now they push through. I definitely could have played that slightly better. You see one goes on the right, but most of the time, most of them are going to go through the left. They end up going through. We spot one. Great shots. We take him out. And again, we're just trying to be a nuisance. So we spot another two. This guy's one shot again. We're in a bad uh, scenario, but we end up frying him. That's two down. That's three down. We back away. Just obviously map control is important, but in this scenario, we have the numbers. So I'm just trying to kind of regroup and just refine my bearings here. That's three down. And this game's over here. This game's over. 40 seconds left. They're trapped in the base. This game is over now. We've got a fresh wave. You know, they're coming through the left. My teammate should pick that up. I'm watching everything else. We're literally funneling them through the left here. 
holding the middle. They're not coming through. Okay, they're all going through the left. Teammate takes him out, and that is honestly some perfect control. That was one of my best gameplays. Even looking back at it, there was very few mistakes I think I made. And the fact that I could tell you every play I wanted to do was me telling you the best play in the moment to do, and I was making it, and I'm very happy with that. So me losing certain gunfights, I'm okay with, because that means mechanically I did that. But in terms of gameplay, I'm going to say that was my best Maybe my best ever game this year, especially in the lobby, a Crimson Lobby, I made every decision perfectly. Now, when watching the pros, like pros play rank play, they just did what I did, basically consistently, and obviously their gun skills better, right? So they make the right decision every single time for, for majority of it in rank play, stuff like that. So that's what kind of separates good players from great players. I think this gameplay here, if that was my floor as a player, right? If that this was my like standard level of gameplay every game, I would be an excellent player. But because this was one of my best gameplays, that's what makes me not as good as I want to be. So I want to get my floor as a player to this level. I think this was perfect. You see, we're going up against two diamonds, two crimsons. But overall, the lobbies are pretty similar. Um, 26 to 8. I mean, we we dealt 4,000 damage and we received 2,000. Somehow I got one headshot. I don't know how, but <laughs> out of that many kills. But I mean, honestly, we played that really well. Like, we played that really well. I just think that was like flawless control gameplay. 3KD and solo queue in that lobby is insane. But anyways, YouTube, you guys know the drill, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like and I'll catch you guys for another one tomorrow. Peace.